Okay, now let's play against 22 years old Beth. Um, attention, 22 years old Beth. Um, play a random play. Hello there. Oh, let's create a masterpiece together. Let's play well. Ah, it's too fast. Like to play. Let's try. Mm hmm. She goes for Queen's Gambit all theory. Uh huh. Uh huh. She doesn't say anymore. Huh. Is this not theory for more? Can I b6? Or this I would probably take e e5? What? 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 Okay, I'll play e4. But e5 is personally, I would say. It's a bit weird. Oh, for a head of the. Why are you switching so fast? I even cannot read your what you type in, in time. Um. You're a fast talker, actually. <laughs> it's a message. I start to read it, and in the middle of it, she makes a move, and then. Uh, okay, sorry. Not our problem that you spent around 20 seconds reading and, and you didn't read until the end, yeah. Uh, um, ba -ba -ba. Probably I'll play. No, rookie one is just like knight b3. Uh, that does not make me happy, but. But is it so dangerous? So I should be scared of it or no? Also important, or should I play bishop g5? And after h6, take, take. Uh, um. Nah, no, forgive one. take. Um okay, she takes. Ah, <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. So take, take, and I cannot take because if I take then my back rank is weak and yeah. It's kind of all over there. Um okay, okay, okay. It seems like my position is not better not the best. <laughs> okay, this whoa. Plays aggressively. Mm -hmm. Very aggressive. He didn't consider that move though. Mm. Maybe I can try to play this and like something like this. Let's try. Can have seven or she'll play? No, she'll play something else. I mean, not very surprised, and I, I, I was. See, I was just hoping that she'll play something else, but okay. I was thinking 99% sure that she'll do. No, I was hoping that 1% was that she'll play in F7, but 99% was that she'll play like what, it in the game, what she did in the game. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I would take. She'll have 6, yep. Um. Let's probably come back. Okay, this will be one. Ah, rook c2. <laughs> mm -hmm. To play bishop e5 and then. Yep, this. Ah, uh, my head is in my deep calculations. I mean, ah, uh, don't you, don't please pay too many attention to my deep calculations. It's just one move. But in my super deep calculations, I had this. Um, I would rather to play this. Not rather. I would thinking I planned to play this. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now my calculations are gone. My super pooper calculations are just gone. In the wilderness somewhere. Oof. This check doesn't concern me. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Russians are on somewhere in wilderness right now. Um, so this a Rook F2 I'll take. Okay, she does not play Rook F2. <laughs> not surprising, not surprising. <laughs> Okay, check. It doesn't concern me. Mm -hmm. She blocks my attempts to do something active. Never mind this. Um, can try go for this, but should I make maybe some air for my king? Let's try this because. <laughs> uh, my king had no oxygen, so it had, to, but it had to breathe. So, uh yeah. So now rook d8. Now I can move my rook away for strength. And uh, now you, she would like to train. Uh huh. When I want it, she doesn't. She didn't want it. Ah, but now you just hang a pawn. You check does not concern me. I like, I like it. I like my position. Let's maybe play this. Maybe rook a7 was better. Um, it's an actually that's actually an interesting one. It's maybe now play rook a seven. Skin h two always have. So yes, oxygen for my king would not be the big problem. Uh huh. I'd probably give a check. Game does not concern her. Um, maybe here this. Who knows? And rook e6 play like rook g3, king c5 take take. This, 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 this take take. King b3, g5, king h3, g6, b4, g7, b3, g8. Hmm. So, yeah, my calculations are this. Yep, she plays this. I play rook g3. She plays like, I know, for example, this. Then I take. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Ah, now I see. Okay, for example, let's say Z. Oh, not this. This is this. King D5, I take, take, take. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, King C4, I play Rook here. So if Rook C3 is in take, take, and then F4, my pawn runs. Let's play this. Ah, you want this? Rook E1, King H2, and then Rook F2? Or what? Okay, this. No, she wants this. Uh huh. But I take. She doesn't concern me. <laughs> um, I guess I'll play rook g3, not rook g5, because king then rook runs. So let's play this. Mm hmm. I was thinking that she'll play this, so not surprise. It's not a surprise. Watch yourself. Okay, thanks for caring about me. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. <laughs> uh, yep, she cared about me. <laughs> Said, watch yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this. I know how a robot can care about me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, let's say G3 is this take. Rook C2, King G1. King. Oh no, maybe King C4, yes. And H4, take, take, take. Should be winning, so let's play this. Okay, watch yourself. Thanks for caring once more. So this. Wait, this, this, King G2. This, this, take, take, King C4. For example, I push this, this, this. Should be winning, so King G1. Um, now King G2. Ah, you want me to check until until the end? I see, I see. And then rook c3. Yeah? Mm -hmm. King f1, rook c1, king e2. Should I put my king over there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but rook f2 does not seem good because rook c3 and I don't really want a perpetual. Oh, uh, yeah, it could have been cool if I had what, like one more. Square for king like on g3 or h3, uh, but I don't have it, so I have to think. Um, maybe I can play king f1 and then like, oops, king f1 z, this, 
King f2 is these, and I can run King e3 attack first. So let's play King f1, see what she'll play. And she plays Rook a2. Uh huh, h4. If b4, then I'm happy. But I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my position here too. But then I would have been much happier. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Maybe King g1. So Rook a1, I already can run, yeah? That's a point, and no, and I can play h5, so no rook h2. So let's probably play this and king e4, f rook b3. Let's see, f rook b3, right? Okay, let's play. So king f5, yes. Here I was thinking rook b4 and rook a3, I can play king g2. And I personally feel my pawns should be more dangerous than they are. Because, for example, if I do this, she has this, rook g5, like, pff, I don't know. Um, okay, this, king g4, rook g5, king h3, h5, this, king f1. Maybe I can escape, though. Um, let's see, this, this, king h3, h5, um... Oof, that's a risky scene. So this, this, rook g5, if she goes here, I play h5. Yes, so rook g2, she play king h1, should be fine, I guess. Uh, this, 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 so and if, you, if she plays this and king h2, this, and if I go here, rook a1, then I should have rook a5, which seems saves the game, I mean wins the game. Um. Okay, maybe rook b4 is winning. Easier, but I'll go for rook b5 and then rook g5. Let's see what we'll have. Okay, this. Uh huh. So I'll play h5, right? Yes. Okay, she takes. So if I play this, this, h7, rook h6, rook g7, probably should win there. I guess so, yeah, and then g4, g5, and uh, should be winning this, rook a1, king h2, no, wait, let's, let's draw arrows, this, rook a1, this, rook a2, this, rook a6 there, and for rook h5, and rook a1, it's like king h4 should win. So, 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 I guess I will not lose game at all, so let's play h6, let's see if I can win this. Alright, this. Aha, uh -huh. so rook h5 here, there is king g3, and mate threat, etc, etc, so it does not look winning at all. I will play h7, rook h6, yep. Um, now rook g7, my king seems very safe. Ooh, but she creates a problem for me. Let's see if I can manage to win this, actually. If I play g4, rook g3, can h2, rook g2. Is it will be a pity if I will not win this. Not the not the end of the world, of course, but still a bit pity. Uh, but okay, I'll play this. Can f4. If I play g5, uh, then g6, can f6, yes. Alright, yeah. Oof, tough one. <laughs> but wait, g5, king f5, g6, king g6, this. Is that a micro lag in my head? If I play this, uh, does she have any threats? Or no, Um, or she'll play like g5 and g7. <laughs> That's my hope. Uh, what else do we have? King h2 from, uh, king g2 from me, rook g3, king h2. No, I guess g5, that's what I'll play. Yeah, that's my move. Rook h5. Now I'll play g6. So I already hit this. Wait, rook g8. Should it be winning? Shoot. h8. I'm sure I'll have to figure this out. Yay! I win! Ooh la la! That was a tough one. It's a very tough, pretty tough one. Yay! Nice. Ah. 
Knight d7, no king here. I don't know why I'm taking d5 though. King d5 now. Yay! Lost very few times in my career. I will remember for you. I rem I will remember you. Yay! I wanted a game 22 years old best. Ooh, that was a very instructive endgame, I can say. I don't know if I ah arrows are saved. I'm not sure if if I had any like uh how to say if I had where I can miss the win. But I don't feel so. So that's maybe not the best game I ever played, but I enjoy this game. So from yeah, there was draw ish position, then she hang a pawn, then seems like she hang another one, and then just g3, then we made this trade of her pawns, and then seems like she doesn't have any draw. Oof. Okay, here it was plus four. Uh, ah, rook f seven, but okay, it was not too. It was too risky. Whoa! Yes, I did not lose. I did not hit any. Yeah, if I was a weird move. Um, that's missed win, right? That's missed win. I'm joking. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so probably I'll not only do key moments because it's one of my favorite games I ever played. Especially the end games, it was very instructive. Nice, I enjoyed this game. Um, so let's see. From opening, it was Queen's Gambit. How strange it's not here, but it's Queen's Gambit. Um, this it's fine. She made e5. That's a bad move. She had to take. I would probably play Queen e2 or b4. I guess I would probably ah. This mouse, come on. Get Okay, yeah. Probably I would have played this. So you get something like this. But e4 is a mistake. I had to play b4. I don't know. I just just had some kind of lag, and I even didn't see that I could have get this pawn. Um, yeah. And here I'm close to winning. Uh let's see. Knight c5 take queen d8 is inaccuracy. It's inaccuracy. I had to play queen e2. And here I'm better, like knight e4, no, bishop f7, knight e4, something like this. Okay, this, 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 yeah, bishop g5 is alternative, this take. So here I got slightly better, I felt it, uh, because she had this weak pawn on e6, I took it, so she didn't have it for more. Knight b2, but for me that seemed very drawish, so, I mean, my goal was to at least hold a draw. I felt that I won't lose here. So here I don't know. I had in my mind that I have this. And then, no, wait, 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 wait. I like she takes. And then I had in my mind I can on time and check here. And then play rook f1. But when, when we went to this skin f7, I thought, oh no. <laughs> yeah, this. So rook f2 should be draw. I guess I would have go for this variation of rook f2, just this, and I guess she could have just forced the draw. I guess I would not play this rook f3, it's a bit too risky, I guess I could have just forced the draw. But uh, she played b6, this, here I thought they can advance, now this h3, rook d8, and yeah, minus of her position, yeah, if rook d2, she plays, then I have like rook e3, and that seems a bit dangerous. Uh, and he, she cannot move this rook to defense because there's rook e8. And yeah, um, rook e8 and this, so it's a uh, skewer. Rook c2 is a mistake, she had to go for rook e1. And then probably would have forced draw just king g1, king g3, etc. King g1, king h2. Uh, yeah, but she didn't go for this, she didn't find it, or she didn't find it, but uh, not late. g6 here, he. Sacrifice a pawn. She had to play rook d6. So, and play rook e5. And here I should be winning after something like a4. I mean, yeah, a4. It seems fine. But I made a mistake. Rook a8. I had to play rook f7. So, what? 
I just take I and then I take on G6 and it's absolutely winning. Why did she play from G2 though? Yeah, but that's a bad position for her. That's true. Ah, uh, but now my most favorite part of the game, Rook F6 is was better than Rook A2. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, probably I'll say not not that favorite game of all time because I played against strong open. Yeah, uh, because I really enjoy the game, especially the end. I was very scared that at some point I can just like make a bad move, especially in this rook and two pawns. Yeah, yeah, let's check inaccuracy there, just not not too important. Uh, King g2 is inaccuracy. Yeah, so here I find this, here I have to play g4. Ah, so start pushing like this and then g5, something like this. So, uh, no, no, <laughs> I can not nervous that much because here it's absolutely winning. Uh, yeah, that's a cool point actually. Guinea 4 is a mistake. Um, and here I was very scared that she has some draw, but nice that, yeah, I guess if I played with time, then I could have just rushed a bit and lose everything. Yeah, but, I mean, not the game, but lose all my advantage and it, it will be a draw. But at enough time, yeah, I made only moves and again, only move rook g7. What wins? Um, G4 again only move no maybe not only move here but still the best and G5 yeah because uh she has some threats yeah with the skin G3 some like this more or less so I had to rush to protect my pawn yeah with this G6 and then I can or play rook G8 and put H8 win or I can just play rook A7 and then wait at some point to play G7 and then put rook to defense, etc. Rook H5 she plays and G6 and here rook G8 is only move. No, maybe not only. King G2, King F2 was also. Um, yeah, only three moves set in this position. What reads? But okay, rook G8 is much easier to win, less nervous, etc. etc. King G2 is also and King F2 is nice because I have rook G8 next move. Yep, and then rook h4, I promoted the queen, she took it, and then, and then, yeah. So, I guess that's my, one of most instructive and favorite games uh, in all history I played. And here, made everyone's game best. Harmon, 22 years old. So, bishop c4 is last book move. Yeah, B4, I remember this. I'm not sure, maybe. <laughs> I can make kind of some slight like click on YouTube because I very enjoyed this game. I'm not sure. But that was. I still enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I mean. I guess even. Okay, Hero Cup 7, I remember. <laughs> Mistakes. I guess even if it was like against, for example. 17 years old best. That's also would have been my one of favorite because I really enjoyed the realization part that was like one of my most instructive or kind of like this end games I ever played. Maybe not most, but one of and I really enjoyed it. Okay, H7 is the best. Yeah. I was very scared that she has like something keen and rook versus just like keen because if I move my rook then um then she's uh how to say she's she's maybe probably can drew because uh yeah if I put rook away um um if I put rook away then my pawn fell for fell yeah if for example how what else can be if for example I run with my kings and maybe checkmate even can be so it's even could have been worse or um. Okay, it's so not any accuracy here. <sighs> yeah. It's best game. Yeah, maybe middle game opening was not the best. Yeah, especially when I did not say this. Uh, F and F or B four. Yeah. Okay. So plus. 
298.6 accuracy in total. Ah, I forgot. Zero brilliant moves for each of us. 54 best move for me, 52 for her. 8 excellent move for me, 9 for her. 6 good move for me is 4 for her. 5 good move for me, 4 for her. 6 is excellent for me, 3 for her. 3 mistakes for me, 7 for her. 0 balance for me, 1 for her. 1 miss means for me, and 0 for her.